Hello friends, Sniz here, and first, I need to apologize for not uploading for a bit. I was working on a bug report relating to Kana's Tango Strike and how it interacts with Thunder Breaker. Spoiler alert for that video, if you ever do watch it is, and if it ever comes out, is it lowers our damage by more than 10%. I stopped working on that video because the awake patch was right around the corner and I assumed they would be fixing the bug I was documenting but there's no mention of it in the patch notes, and that came out pretty recently. I'll do some testing after the patch, but I have a feeling I'll be finishing that video now, because I doubt it'll be fixed. Either way, I don't have a lot of content to showcase, but since 4th V skills are coming out, I figured I'd document where I am currently regarding gear in my 40 second battle analysis. Gear-wise, I have quite a fair bit of upgrades to make. My flames are pretty awful, but they're decent enough for now. I'd love to upgrade to three dark totems, but that might not be in the books because we haven't heard anything about when those are coming back. My Absol gear is four set as of right now because I use a cooldown hat and it's they're just placeholders right now. Like I'm not going to invest anything more into them as my arcanes are nearing completion. I Star-wise, they're already stronger than the Abso, I just need to flame and potential them. Honestly, I could get away with like a 120 equivalent flame on the cape and then just three line the gear, two line crit damage the gloves, and it'd be better. But I may have not soloed Hard Lotus just yet. Accessories are almost done star-wise. I literally have like three stars to gain, one on the superior ring as you can see, but and I think there's two stars to gain on the superior gold earrings. Yes, two on those earrings. After that, I am done with starring my accessories. And of course, the biggest upgrades I can make besides the arcane gear are flames. Uh, my flames are pretty, pretty garbage, but flames are also garbage to you. So, you know, I'm reluctant to invest at the moment. Thankfully, my transposed items were fairly cheap all things considered, and especially comparing to some of my friends. Uh, but strength also has it easy, so. Continuing, there is a lot of improvement to be made on my WSE. I'm not even utilizing all nine lines, unless you count the damage line, which I personally do not. Since my emblem is two line prime attack, that means replacing that damage line with a 30% IED and losing 3% attack would actually be a loss of damage. I have to swap the IED line on my secondary to gain uh, and move it over to my emblem to be gained. And I have to replace the 30% IED on my uh, secondary with either a boss line or hopefully an attack line. Because of this, I'm either going to be cubing the primary or the secondary for two line attack, one line boss. Most likely the primary first because I don't need that much, bo that much boss damage, especially with the fact that we have familiars giving like 90% boss at epic if you have three 30% uh, boss familiars. Uh, other than that, WSC is pretty much done. I mean, I, oh, I might not have shown the flames on my CRA, but it's like, it's dog shit as well. Uh, Oz is pretty close to done. This is over here is like, uh, not meme rings, but rings that are really, really niche scenarios. Like limit ring is for setting up Crisis HM ring level four, which is a roar four, but you have to lower your HP and MP to ridiculously low amounts. You need three rings to do it reliably in Dojo. One of them is obviously Crisis HM ring and limit ring. The third ring, which I'm missing is called health cut and that removes 70% of your uh, max HP, which is what you need to get to like 5% or less than 10% health to trigger the Crisis HM while it's uh, equipped. Uh, I have an overdrive ring level 3. S can't really think of a use for it because I think I can kill Pink Bean before it DRs now on floor 50. Uh, reflective ring is useful for Princess now. I mean, if you know how to use it, you know. But uh, it, it's for the first stage. You can reflect the whale damage so you don't... It's like how Dark Flare works on whale in the first stage. I have a tower boost 4, which makes, you know, gathering Oz points better. Cleansing ring level 3, which I would like to eventually upgrade to cleansing ring level 4, but this is like a 95% chance to succeed, so if that 5% really does fuck me, then you know, you know, maybe I should have just gone for a 23 star item at that point. Uh, weapon jump I level 4, because I, in the back of my mind, 
I have also had a weapon jump L4, and that was my first weapon jump 4, but I threw it out. In the back of my mind, I'm kind of going for a Exodia type situation, because I have weapon jump S4, which is the one that's relevant to me, but if I get all four weapon jump rings, I can brag and, more importantly, complain about how my luck is bad and also good. Crit damage ring level 4, honestly, you do not need this ring. I would just replace it with a Stellar Detective's ring if it's out, because that's 35% crit damage. I think that's the Fatal Raw ring, if I'm correct. Maybe it might be Kerr. I'm not sure. I don't have it myself. I have a Risk Taker 4, which is basically worthless. I can use it in no actual boss. In Dojo, I can use it, but everywhere else it's useless because I don't have a long enough iframe. I guess I could use it if I had uh, one of my paladins linked, one of my paladin friend linked to me and then pop it, but you know, not really worried about it. I have a risk, uh, Ring of Restraint level 2, which is basically uh, a third of the duration of a Risk Taker 4. Hoping to upgrade this to a level 4, and then I also have Weapon Jump S4 and Totaling level 4. I have not done a lot of testing with Totaling Ring, but it's not terrible if I remember correctly. But it's not better than Aurora 2, if I also remember correctly. Uh, Oz is close to being done, though. Uh, it's really just the Roar 4 and then hoping for a health cut ring, but even then, I don't really need one. And on top of that, hoping for a cleansing ring level 4. But after that, there's really nothing else I need. It would just be completing Exodia, which is just a meme goal at this point. So I have saved up 50 rank 2 boxes, so that's 50 runs of Oz. And I was going to open them before the patch, but I want to wait for my girlfriend because she was present when I got my weapon jump for and after I opened, I did another 50 box opening with the Aussies while she was asleep because she's six hours ahead and she can't be up when I'm up uh, at certain t times of the day because it's just so late for her. Uh, because of that, like I opened the, my rings then to you know provide content and I got no I got like nothing. Like absolutely dog shit from those boxes, so I'm 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 hoping she's my good luck charm. Either way, uh, rank Oz. That's Oz. Uh, looking at link skills, it's not beautiful, and I don't have. I was bossing on my Kana, so I don't have Res Link on. So that makes sense why I died in C Cap. Uh, immediately. Anyways, uh, level three links almost everywhere. Uh, the only thing that you might notice is I don't have Jet Link on anymore, and I think I might have shown that in a previous video. My Jet Link was 35 strength, 35 attack, so quote-unquote perfect uh, Jet Link, but it expired because I forgot to relock it because I'm a dummy. And because of that, it is now worthless to me, but I was told I should wait and see with the, you know, the upcoming patch that Jet might get the 16% boss damage uh, Link skill, but it did not. So I have to recube my jet link and hope I get 35-35 again in a you know a low amount of meso. But in addition to that, I also need to start using a V link because the fourth V skill is major major burst, and using this during it is actually really worth it. I I'm willing to bet it's really worth it. I have to do like a full three minute or two minute rotation or three minute rotation to figure out when it's worth when it's not worth and when it is worth, but. You know, for the most part, I'm willing to bet like replacing one of my damage links for the fourth V, especially after I see how much percent it makes up of like a 40 second BA. I'm willing to bet uh, AB is going to be worth replacing like 12% damage for. Uh, hypers aren't anything special. It's basically the bread and butter Thunderbreaker setup. The only one that I would maybe move is like you could move Thunderbolt reinforce to Gale reinforce or one of your 20% damage boost from, to annihilate to gale reinforce but really i don't see it you just absolutely need the extra strikes on thunderbolt and uh gale because that's not one extra strike it's two because we have a shadow partner v matrix is pretty standard uh fatal strike is gonna go here since we're gaining a node slot with the new patch i don't have to worry about anything i just got to move one of these boosted nodes off and it's going to be sharp eyes like most likely going to be sharp eyes because one all stat is like inconsequential and the boost to the v new V skill is much more substantial. I do have two pairs of trinodes down here. Uh, these are only for training and one one is for training, which is this one, the Ascension, Tidal Crash, Thunder, and the other one is for Spirit Savior, 
because being able to one-shot with Flash when I was actually running Spirit Saber is super, super helpful. I have Hyper Body because I was experimenting with how to proc Crisis HM, but you need Health Cut, like, you need it. Even using Hyper Body to change your max HP, it just, it just doesn't do enough. Uh, speed Infusion for the all stat, I guess, when I didn't have anything to put on. Because sometimes I run in parties that have, like, you know, sharp eyes, so there's no point in keeping it on except for the fact it gives more stats. So I was, like, slowly working on getting this up. Urda Shower was obviously for training, but I'm not training anymore, so, you know, that's about it. Um, I think the last thing I need to show is my familiars. My familiars are not substantially good, but they're not bad either. I have 80 boss, I think. Yeah, 80 boss, and then, you know, one that's 5% HP and MP every 10 seconds for the whole party. And then, you know, 50 or 60% drop rate from that line on that one. Uh, I'm not going to be working on familiars until droplets come to Tenebris, when I can farm there on my Kana in Moonbridge or Lab, wherever I decide to go, and get familiars at the same time I'm grinding. I don't have the biggest, like, the, you know, the most, exo like, largest goals, like, you know, getting unique familiars with, like, 120 boss and all that. I'm just going for three decent epic familiars, and I would like, you know, both of the lines with the 30% boss to be useful, so, like, I wish this HP and MP line was higher, like, 10% HP at least, but it's whatever. But also, like, you know, this line to actually be useful, like, either IED or healing or another boss line if it was double prime for whatever reason. And then, of course, IED on this one, or attack percent, I guess, would be the other useful rare line that there is present. But that, that's a long-term goal because, you know, I also, once I farm the familiars, I also have to train them to level 5 because you can only get rare familiars as drops now, and then you have to fuse them and all that. Badges-wise, which is the more important thing, is pretty standard. Uh, I have only two IED, and I only have two attack ones. Yeah, two attack, and I'm working on depths, which I'm just missing snowman, and I'm just lazy, I don't want to go farm it. Two IED, or three. Is there three? No, it's only two. And then I'm using a crit rate uh, one for now. And that's actually su uh, two crit rate ones. This is actually super helpful because it allows me to take points out of a hyper one level out of hyperstat and allocate that somewhere else and get more damage. Uh, Labyrinth badge is actually better than an IED line for me currently. Uh, IED badge for me currently. So, you know, I'll keep it. You know, something. Uh, these badges are inconsequential. The attack on here is on. You can't stack the two attacks so replacing the strength one or whatever would actually not do anything because there's attack here and that's the maximum stack you can have useless 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 and useless so this is my setup currently other than that i cannot think of anything else to show you i think we'll get into the battle analysis now i'm not going to be speaking over that though you don't have to listen to me anymore <laughs> 